Welcome to Baker Day Presents. We are here today at the Morgan Hall Kitchens at Temple University. It's a working kitchen. There might be some noises. There might be some things in the background. Uh, today, I have my special guest is Casey Marcicano. She is the new director of marketing here at Temple University, working with Aramark and Temple Dining Services. And she has brought with her her recipe for strawberry shortcake coming right up. Welcome, Casey Marcicano, correct? Yes, thank you, awesome. Dave. Great to be here. So you are the current marketing director? Director for Temple here, Culinary Services. For Temple Culinary Services, which is now run by Aramark. Mm -hmm. Glad to say that, right? Yes, you are. Excellent. Absolutely. We're so, excited to be here. Super. I'm excited to have you here. Uh, and today, what, what's some of the things that... Uh, any, any big plans this, this semester coming up? Anything you want to like lots hint of, at? Lots of new things. Maybe you want to tell us what the big cake is? or Oh, no? am I allowed to say that? We're, no. we're going to keep that we'll under keep wraps. That a secret? That's our, that's our secret. There's going to be an awesome big cake. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, from day one, Baker Dave has told we me about the same this, fate, this large like, cake. She so came I am to me so talking, ready to go. Talking about what she wanted to do for the big cake, mm -hmm. and it's exactly what I've been wanting to do for years, and now I finally get to have it. So this is super A match for made me. in heaven. Exactly. <laughs> so today we're going to make strawberry shortcake, right? Yes. But uh, typically, like your strawberry shortcake that you've made in the past, right? Mm -hmm. you're, you're more of a cake person yes. with like. Yeah, like you, a sponge cake or angel food. Sometimes you'll buy like those little things yeah. with, the, with the hole <laughs> if I'm in lazy. it. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna make a sweet biscuit because mm. I don't know if you've ever had shortcake like I that. Have I have not. I feel I'm like very it's probably excited. big down south. I was gonna say, is it a southern thing? Um, yes. Some southern it hospitality. It is absolutely 100% <laughs> a southern thing. Like that's for sure. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, but it's something that we do. I do it from time to time here, and people seem to like it. So okay. I thought it would be kind of fun. Perfect. Uh, the first thing we're going to have to do is macerate our, stra our strawberries. Okay. And I wanted to do that right away so that they'll be ready for us later, because otherwise, and then we can get back into talking about how great you are. Uh, <laughs> so have you ever macerated berries? I have not. Well, how do you do your strawberry shortcake then? Well, now I'm a little bit, like, perplexed. Like, how you do you just what put do you, some sugar on top you of it. I didn't know it had a fancy name. Oh. And that, that's what it is. Oh. Literally, you're putting sugar <laughs> on top. So it does have a fancy name, and it's literally just sprinkling Ooh, sugar yep, on top. That's it. A little bit more. There you go. <laughs> Never the, too much sugar. <laughs> actually, it's true. Uh, I get yelled at from my wife and stuff with this sometimes. <laughs> but you can't put too much sugar when you're macerating stuff because it doesn't matter. It'll sit at the bottom. So all this is going to do is it's going to pull the moisture out of the strawberries a little bit and create a juice that they're kind of floating in, which then for this particular instance is awesome because the mm. juice will soak into your biscuit and make it all delicious as Strawberry well. Strawberry deliciousness. Exactly. We're just going to set that aside because that takes time to do that. And okay. then we'll get into our biscuits here in a minute. So, okay. why strawberry shortcake? Like, why? What's what's? Is there any special meaning with you? Anything? Strawberry that's... shortcake is the I think quintessential summer dessert, right? You're at a cookout. You're having dinner with your family. Um, Local, mother... organic, yeah. like all that kind of stuff. Right? I mean, the best <laughs> time you get to get strawberries is obviously during the summer season. You ever so... pick strawberries? Yes. Yeah, I'm I from northern Pennsylvania originally, so there's a lot of farm right. land up there, and absolutely. So where at up there? Um, the Wilkes Barre Scranton area. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes, so strawberry farm. I do farms. know that area. Yeah. My brother-in-law went to school at Scranton, oh. so I, I was up there a couple of times. I saw, I don't know, I'm probably aging myself a little bit, but I remember going up there to see Hooting the Blowfish and Toad the Wet Sprocket together. Very cool. That's not usually what people think of at Scranton. It's usually the office. Everybody well, the, the office, office didn't exist when I went yeah. and saw them. <laughs> um, but I do remember seeing them, and yes. they were super cool. And afterwards, they met with people, and they were, like, trying to get, like, they were inviting people onto their tour bus, and <laughs> it was... It was a different time. It's a place to have a very good time, northeastern Pennsylvania. So you're suggesting they party a lot? No. That's no. what I just got out of that. I got that you partied a lot when you grew up there in northeastern no, Pennsylvania. That wasn't no. true? No. Well, that's... We don't Not why we're that. here. Okay. <laughs> so let's get to biscuits. Have you made biscuits before? I have not. I'm excited for this. Well, you're going to be a mess. Okay. I hope you're that's okay That's fine. With I'm that. ready to get dirty. Okay. So you're going to have your... I always... I tell people the same thing. Where do I put it? Salt. I always put salt... And vanilla really? in everything. Cool. I wouldn't think salt and biscuits, but you're the you're the well, expert. Well, we're using unsalted butter right okay. now, so if you don't have salt, you don't taste the salt, but you taste it if it's not there. Okay. It feels bland or flat. Perfect. So we've got our our three and a half cups of flour. We've got 
baking powder. Okay. Biscuits are baking powder, right? Got it. So we have our baking powder. We have a third a cup of sugar. This is important because... Uh, That's a lot more than normal, right? It is. Typically, you might do like a tablespoon for okay. the same amount. But uh, the idea is, is that we want it to be a little sweeter because we're using it for dessert. We're not eating it with chicken, okay. so to speak, right? Perfect. So Ooh. we're going to add a little more sugar. And then we're going to add a stick and a half of butter. Okay. If you were super old school, you'd probably use shortening or something. Okay. I don't like shortening, trans fat and all. Right. So Good old butter. Now it's all you. Okay. I'm just getting in there? Yeah, you just got to get in there and you got to break the butter up into it. Okay. Feels good, doesn't it? It does. The it's like a good <laughs> stress reliever. Yeah, but then there's stuff all stuck on your hands. and That's okay. So you weren't the girl growing up that was uh, running in to get your hands cleaned all the time. Then. No. Is that what you're saying? You were more no. the mud pie girl? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Not saying, like, that's what... Yes, I had a younger brother, so we were always out You got to get that butter really broken up in there. There you go. Sometimes they have a pastry cutter thing. You can keep talking. I'm, oh, I'm making okay. it hard on you, right? Like you no, I'm, I'm paying attention to the gum. butter. You're doing perfect. It's, it's exactly what you need to do. It's perfect. So you were a tomboy? Not a tom. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Not a per se. Yeah, maybe. Probably. Maybe. Grew up playing softball. That was the sport that I played for Did many, years. Did you have brothers years. and sisters? I have a younger brother, yes. So he beat you up all the time even though he was younger brother? Yeah, he got a lot taller quicker. Yeah. Yeah. That's that happens, happens sometimes. I know. So <laughs> real simple. You've broken it up a little bit. I just want to show them real quick. Okay. Like you see these, uh, there's chunks of butter in there at this point. And that's good. You want chunks. Chunks is not an issue because you want that fat to be in there that's going to make okay. it kind of flaky and delicious, but not. You'll, you'll, you'll see when, when we do it, obviously. All right. Uh, and then you use buttermilk. Okay. If you don't have buttermilk, some options are you can use regular whole milk, and then you can add some vinegar to it, and it'll make it congeal up a little bit. Uh, if you don't have buttermilk and you don't have vinegar, but you have regular milk, maybe you just add a couple tablespoons of sour cream. Oh, cool. Because you're really just trying to get that kind of soury okay. bonus taste to it, right? The Because we use baking powder, it already has an acid in it. Uh, so it's not 100% necessary to make the leavening agent work, which is what a lot of times you need it to make. If you were doing chocolate cake, you might need it to help the leavening agent work. Okay. So Ooh. we dump in our buttermilk. All right. And then you keep mixing. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other cool thing is a lot of times people will, because uh, we're going to roll these out, right? Yes. We're not going to use a rolling pin, though. Okay. That's always a mistake I think people make. You should never use a rolling pin. Why is that? Because you're always overworking it at that point. Anybody that knows anything about biscuits knows you want to touch them as little as possible. So, like, as this is coming together, you just want to get it together. Cool. Like, get as much of the dry stuff out of there so it's a ball, but not, you don't want to work it like you're making bread. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes sense. How does this look? It's looking like it's coming together. Okay. So just it's make sure I get there. that bottom. Yeah, get it all like it's, make a ball. Give me a ball oh. there. You know, like you were playing softball. Got it. <laughs> so you didn't go pro then with the softball? No, no. Were you not very good? You no, like I played all throughout, um, all throughout high school, but then it was just time to concentrate on schoolwork and other things. So gave it up. I coached a little after that, so ah, that was fun. That's so not, like I, did, I never gave up something because of schoolwork. I mean, <laughs> maybe that's why I'm a chef. <laughs> I'm not a rocket scientist, hey. but I never was like... Some of the chefs I know are the smartest people. Hey, I, I should give this up for schoolwork. <laughs> like, that didn't happen to me. I usually was told I had to give it up because of schoolwork. Until you get your grade up to a C or something, you can't. You know what I mean? I got you. For sure. Beautiful. See that All beautiful right. ball? Pop it on, plop it on the table. Get rid of this bowl. There we go. Okay. So, you'll probably want a little bit of flour here. Okay. You, you, got, that, you got that motion there? It's Just kinda, like this. No, not anything like that at all. So kind of, we're going to try that one more time just for fun, right? Ready? So there's a technique to it. You're taking it and you're kind of beautiful. Not really, but it's good enough. And then I'm I'll trying. <laughs> go ahead and press it out. That's okay. it. Just, just. Okay, use your fingertips. This is what I was going to show you. Okay. So you're really just using your fingertips and you're just kind of oh, patting okay. it out to the thickness you want. This is how you should get biscuits to make make biscuits. Okay. You should not use a rolling pin. Okay. Okay. So Don't, that's good. You're good. Possible. You're good. Good. Oh, all right. And then once you get to where you're going, just feel free to like, just lift it up a little bit just to make sure it relaxes. Okay. Nothing's worse. And this is part of the reason I think I avoid using rolling pins. A lot of times people roll them out with the rolling pin and you kind of stretch the dough out and it kind of sticks to the table. Right. And if you don't loosen that back up again, you'll go to cut it. And when you put it on your thing to make the biscuit, it turns into like a football. You ever had that happen? Oh yeah. Yeah, if you need to relax the dough so that won't happen. Okay. So that the, it won't stretch itself to that point. Perfect. And then Butter? 
Cutter. If you don't have a cutter, you can use, you know, like a cup or something. Okay. I've done that before, but it's hard because cups have no opening in the backside, right? right. So like you're pushing the air somewhere where it's going to go. Right. Uh, and they don't always come out. But you could cut it square for all I care. Honestly, it's for strawberry shortcakes. You could use a butter knife and just cut square pieces out. Those are really meant. Who said it had to be round? Like, where did that come from? Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I didn't make up these. If I was inventing biscuits today, they'd be square for sure. Triangle. No, well, then it's a scone. Like, it would get confused, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, you have to have a unique shape so Very that it's true. its own thing, right? For sure. Okay. So, I have a pan. Okay. Which is what we needed. We're just going to... This extra? For now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, because there's no reason to make it. So it's just the two of us. Like, how much you... Are, maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. How hungry are you? I'm pretty hungry. Do you want me to make some more? No, is it, no this will be enough. <laughs> you think six is enough? Because I feel like that's going to be enough. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> and then um, one of the things I like to do is... I'm going to use your little bit of buttermilk that you have here. Okay. I, just, literally, that's about how much you need. I just put a little bit on top. And that helps them to brown a little bit, or...? It probably will help you with that. Okay. Most, honestly, I was doing it mostly because I want the sugar to stick to it. Okay. So you can brush milk on it. You can brush, you can even brush water on it, to be honest with you. I really want, you will get a little bit more color if you use something with some fat in it. Right. So that's a good thing. And then I like to take, like I said, some sugar because now I just want to make it a little bit extra sweet. Right. And it gives it a nice crunch on top, which is Perfect. also what we are looking for. And then we're going to stick it in an oven. Uh, biscuits, you tend to bake a little bit higher, uh, like 375-ish okay. uh, for a little bit shorter time because you really want to get that pop. So they kind cool. of, uh, if you weren't doing sweet biscuits, sweet biscuits for some reason stay their shape a little bit better. If you're doing biscuits like for dinner or something, a lot of times you can actually stick them right next to each other. And they'll literally rise up and they'll be way fluffier and higher. So if you really want a real fluffy biscuit for dinner, Literally together. pack them all right next to each other. Okay. And then they'll rise against each other and they'll actually come up higher and they'll be fluffier. But for our dessert purposes, not necessary. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and put that in the oven right now. Ugh. And that's gonna take like maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. You'll see it'll get a nice color on the bottom when that's about done. All right, perfect. How long have you been back in Pennsylvania now? So I have been in the Philadelphia area for a little over two months. Okay, and then yeah. before that you were? Northeast Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. back where you grew up, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you work anywhere else? You've just lived your entire life in Pennsylvania. Are you like totally Pennsylvania bound? I am bound? a Pennsylvania girl. Like for real? Yeah. Like you've never, like you didn't do a job in like North in Carolina or something? I've, I've had to travel or, for work a lot, just like but a, for a week or so, a week or two, yeah. That's not really the same thing at all. I love Pennsylvania. All right, well, good for you, good for you. <laughs> I think the biscuits might be just about done so this awkward conversation can move on. <laughs> Not awkward. I'm excited for the biscuits, though. Good. Me too. Do you smell them? They smell delicious. So you see the, how the sugar has that nice little crust on it? Right. That's, it, that's going to be a nice bonus crunch there. Extra sugar. We're going to let those cool a little bit okay. while we start making the cream for mm. it. So whipped cream is what, you're usually, is what you would use. You see we don't have a mixer here, right? Do you usually nope. do it with a mixer? Yes. Right, because who wants to whip cream by hand? That's why I have That's you what do we're it. learning today. Right, nobody. Nobody wants to whip cream by hand, but still we're going to. Okay. It's easier because I like to show people that you can. Okay. Because a lot of people are like, you Don't know even what? Don't think about it, yeah. Or they just buy it already done. Yeah, like the power's out and I really want whipped cream. <laughs> like, now you can still have it. Like, because that happens all the time, I'm right. sure. Right. Whip right. cream. quiet. That's because... like the most important because it goes with your French toast, right? Mm -hmm. Early yeah, in the morning, so you have to be quiet. No one else when in the house. When there's a storm, up. I'm saying, when you uh -huh. have to get the milk and bread and eggs. <laughs> I use granulated sugar when I'm doing whipped cream. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you do that. Maybe some people use powdered sugar. As long as you add it while it's in its wet stage, it will mix in. Okay. And then it's just, I get the biggest bowl possible and I just keep it moving. Okay. At some point you'll make butter, but it's going to be a ways. Churning. Right. Were you ever a Girl Scout? <laughs> I wasn't. No. Oh, because that, that seems like something. Do. Churn butter? Yeah, Take like. Churn you, butter pin? I feel like when I was a Boy Scout, I kind of remember, you know, one of those. Like maybe a Cub Scout, not even a Boy Scout, right? <laughs> Where you would take like a heavy cream and you'd shake it up and pass it to the next person. It was kind of like similar to the ice cream thing where you'd roll the ice cream around. Right. I feel like I'm taking all the fun away. Did you okay. want to do some? Here we go. Yeah, I like the side to side motion. You got to go a lot faster than that, seriously. There, like, just kinda, <laughs> yeah, the side to side motion because then you feel like you can get more in there. Okay. And you can see it's already getting a little bit thicker, right? Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that we're going to do that's going to be slightly different 
is I like to add mascarpone cheese to mine. Me too. You, have you done that? Um, I just like mascarpone cheese. Oh, so you've never actually in done that? In any form. Is that the Italian in you? Yes. Okay. So what mascarpone cheese will actually do to it is it'll it'll actually make it fattier than it already is. And heavy cream is pretty fatty. Mm -hmm. So when you eat it, even though it's gonna be like refrigerator temperature, right? Your mouth feel it'll feel like ice cream. Mm. And who doesn't like the idea of having ice cream as your thing instead of, you know what I mean? Right. What are you stopping for? I'm listening understand. to you. You're, you said ice cream. And it made you stop? Yep. I, I actually can't even argue with I that. I have such a sweet tooth. I so. can't even argue with that. Um, How are we doing here? How's it we're look? We're doing good. I do want to add a little vanilla. Okay. Because, that, Go ahead. you know, it's going to be like vanilla ice cream, right? Ooh. A little bit of vanilla. And oh, it smells so good. Smells vanilla-y. Mm -hmm. I do want to add some. Can I get that for me? Absolutely. You're almost there. Because I don't think I need all of this. This is where it gets tricky. Now it's going to be stuck to the thing. That was probably a mistake. I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> this is not the first mistake. Okay. Okay. So then you can kind of get that Whip mixed. Whip it in? Yeah, kind of get that mixed in. Okay. And then you'll see it'll even make it thicker. Because yeah, mascarpone can, can whip too. It's, I always feel like it's a lie calling it cheese. Why? I don't know, because it doesn't feel like cheese to me. It feels like super thick Sweet heavy cream. Sweet goodness. Does that make sense? It feels like heavy cream but thicker? Yeah, I think like so. Like you're really getting it thick there. Do you see that? That's, and there's some chunks, but... You make it look so easy. <laughs> no, this is totally difficult. But you see that? <laughs> see how that, that's super thick there? And then here, so you can see what I'm talking about. Eat it? Yeah. Doesn't that taste kind of like, it makes you feel like ice cream? It does. More so than like just whipped cream, so mm -hmm. it kind of makes it feel extra special. Mm -hmm. So if, whenever you want that nice extra. Nice and sweet. This is great for like uh, dipping strawberries for that special someone. You got a special someone? Yeah, I do have a fiance. Oh yeah, you're getting married? Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank Soon? you. Uh, next year. Recently engaged, so next June is the wedding. Ah, 2018. Mm -hmm. Even number of years is good years to get married. I know, that was my thought too. I don't know, I'm not superstitious. I just thought <laughs> that seemed like that would be the thing to say. Are you superstitious? I like even numbers. That's all. So the answer is yes. <laughs> yes, she's superstitious. Doesn't want to go into detail. I can understand that. Um, so we have our strawberries. You see that juice in there? I don't know if you can even see it. You'll see it when we pour oh, it. Oh, yeah. We'll actually pour some out. Particular biscuits, biscuits you want? Is there a particular one you want? I mean, I'm gonna let you pick first. That one right here, it looks perfect. So it's yours, take it. Okay, perfect. That's what I'm saying. So I'm gonna take one and just kind of split it. Right? Uh-oh, I broke mine. I think that's really gonna matter <laughs> in this particular, do you see this juice? Look at this. Oh, wow. Like I love that looks delicious. literally pouring the juice to make sure that you get plenty of juice on there. Soaked right into it making a huge mess here. And then you can take some strawberries. And then some whipped cream. Totally, this is not your plated dessert, for sure. Are like you your fancy. Whipped cream? Or you want me to use the fork? Here, I can use the not licked on fork. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a no offense, like it would be fine for you, but for me it wouldn't be I as... like to taste test while I'm baking. Well, no, and I wanted you to, so it worked out fine. Yum. So maybe not the super greatest presentation on the planet as far as, you know, your five-star restaurants, but... I think it's going to taste five-star. I star, think it's going to taste five-star. Grab your fork. You, I didn't get you another fork. You're going to have to keep reusing it. I'm good. That's good because you, you don't want to throw I stuff really away. I really want to try the biscuit. Well, I really want you to try the biscuit. So cheers. Hold on. I'm trying to get all the components <laughs> in. They're all falling cheers. apart. Oh, it's fun. Mmm. That is delicious. I forgot a bonus. I brought this just for you. Oh, because you know I love. You know what this is? Chocolate? It is. It's cocoa nibs. Oh. Totally brought this just for you because you were saying the other day how much you love chocolate. I'm a chocoholic. So as like a bonus, if you sprinkle some cocoa nibs on it, oh. it adds like a whole other texture component too. Yeah, so you get the crunch. The biscuit's a little crunchy too, so it works out, but just like a little bonus. I feel like we're getting a second taste now, which is even better, right? That's delicious. Good? Great job. 
Well, thanks for joining me here. Absolutely. Casey. Marcy Cano. Marcy Cano. Thank you for joining me here. No and welcome thanks to Temple. Thank you. Excited to be here. Thank you for joining us on Baker Day Presents. And a special thanks to Casey Marcy Cano and her delicious strawberry shortcake. Join us again next time on Baker Day Presents. And remember, every recipe has a story.